need to, to turn it on. Turn it on. Am I live yet? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who feared the Lord. And take great delight in his commandments. Blessings, everyone. Blessings, blessings. How y'all doing? Invite your friends. Invite your friends. I'm not going to be that long. Invite your friends. We're not going to be that long. Invite your friends. Invite your, your followers. Invite your cousins, your aunties, your sisters, and your brothers. Amen. Pray the Lord. I am so excited. I'm so happy to be with you on today. I'm inviting followers myself. So invite some people. Invite some people. We're not going to be that long before you. Just invite some people. Praise the Lord. Invite your followers. Click to the left. You see a little man by a cross. You start clicking invite. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to wait till some of y'all get on. Shout out by my rasho. Share, share, share. Share, share, share. If you really care. Please share. Blessings, blessings, everybody. Blessings. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to tell y'all I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, and we bless everybody that's in attendance right now. I just want to talk about the upcoming events that's coming up. Sweetie, could you cut that light right there for me on? Right there. Thank you so much, baby. My wife gave me a prophetic look, y'all. She don't wanna she don't wanna help me out, praise the Lord. But I help out all the time, praise the Lord. Amen. I love y'all too, amen. Anyway, um we have a prophetic conference coming up May the fifth through seventh with Prophetess Valerie Moore. Uh, we would urge, it's a free event. We urge that everybody come out. It's going to be a, a powerful, powerful event. Blessings to you, Pastor Jim. Blessings to you, uh, Cassandra, and all my spiritual children and daughters and sons. Blessings to you guys. Amen. It's going to be May the 5th through 7th. Uh, it's going to be in Houston, Texas. It's going to be at 6300 West Park Drive, Houston, Texas, at the Rock Worship Center. Uh, make sure you come out. It's going to be very, very phenomenal. Um, that's May 5th through 7th. Amen. And then we also, right after that, we have July meeting in Houston as well with Prophet Passion Java all the way from Zimbabwe. How you doing, woman of God? Uh, and it's going to be it's going to be July the 7th through the 9th. It's going to be at the Crown Plaza Hotel. I don't have the uh, the address with me, but we will post it up. Make sure you register. The registration is only $25 for general admission. And for VIP seating and private session, it's going to be $100 for singles and $175 for couples. Make sure you come. It's going to be the event of the year. If you want to, you need to get around real profits, seasoned profits, major profits that really hear from God, that really have a word for you, but also can that can give you impartation, revelation, activation, and you will see the manifestations of God. This is what we want to be around. This is what we want to connect to. People of God, let me tell you something. A one word from God can change your whole life, your whole perspective on life. Amen. It can teleport you to the next season and the next stage in your life. You'll begin to see your situations change. So this is the reason why the prophetic voice is so needed and so uh, uh, um necessary in this season amen it, it it's mixed with the apostolic and and you know we're gonna see great 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 miracles so i want you to share this 
Uh, with your friends, how you doing? Uh, how you doing, Javon? How you doing, man of God? Blessings to you. So make sure that you connect in order to collect. Make sure you get connected so you won't be infected. Amen. I'm not saying that other ministries are not anointed or anything like that. This is not a competitional thing. Uh, but let's let's be honest. Let's be real. You don't see people who move in miracle signs and wonders today. You don't see that in our church. You don't see people, the blind seeing, the deaf hearing, the lame walking in, 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 in meetings no more. You don't see that going on. You know, you hear about it in the 50s and the early, you know, um, early uh, in the 40s and 50 revivals and during the Zulu Street time. But you don't see those type of miracles no more in the body of Christ. But we see these miracles. You don't got to go to Africa to see these miracles. They're happening right here in the United States uh, through the SMI family and other ministries as well. Uh, but we definitely seeing a lot of miracles that just, just medically proven. Uh, it's extremely limited. Exactly, Bishop. It's extremely limited. You know, so if you want pure prophetic to where it's definitely not no surface type stuff, but where we go deep, deep, deep in the prophetic, um, to where you experience the first Corinthians fourteen twenty five anointing, uh, you need to be at these meetings. You know, we had, God told me to focus on my first love, which is the prophetic. You know, we move in the glory realm, we move in the apostolic glory, but God said, you know what, this is the season to where he's, uh, 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 bringing integrity back to the prophetic, amen. There have been so many prophetic voices out there that have led people astray, and uh, there's been a lot of turmoil in the prophetic. So we're here to uh, uh, to bring back the integral, the integrity side of the prophetic office, amen. So you need to be at these meetings with genuine prophetic people, people who really hear from God. You know without a shadow of a doubt that they hear from God. But not only hear from God, but can speak a word and manifestations begin to take place instantly. Amen. You 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 can rarely find that in ministries today. Amen. So make sure you come to these meetings. Uh, May 5th through 7th in Houston, Texas with uh, Prophetess Valerie Moore. She's a powerhouse woman of God. She's a, a profound preacher, but also a prophet. She's very accurate. Amen. In the prophetic. Amen. And in July, we have my spiritual father coming out. Way from Zimbabwe, Prophet Passion Java from uh, Zimbabwe, Africa. And he's one of the m most uh, anointed prophets out there. Amen. Uh, he's one of the most <laughs> sharpest and accurate prophet that I ever heard of. Amen. And he will be with us also with his spiritual sons, which is myself as well. We're going to be going deep in the prophetic as well. But those who know about my ministry, the, the way we flow, we go deep. Amen. In the prophetic. Uh, also, we have Shea Hall coming out in August. That's going to be August 4th through 5th. And she, compared to a lot of Africans, she, as a as an American woman prophetess, she's one of the deepest ones I've seen. And she flows heavy in the prophetic and also miracle signs and wonders. So it's not just about the prophetic, but also just a word, revelation, and to be getting imparted into. If it's not happening at your church, don't be prideful. You know you don't flow deep in the prophetic. Come to these meetings. You know that you need an extra boost in the spiritual realm. Come to these meetings because guess what? We all have the Holy Ghost, but not everybody catch the memo. So just because you may hear from God a little bit, you still need to get around those who hear him a lot. They can hear it more clearly, more distinctively, and more precise. So you need to get around those people. So you, you know, it wasn't until uh, King Saul got around the prophets, even though the prophet told him he was going to meet these people. It wasn't until he got around the host of prophets that he began to prophesy. So you need to get around eagles to start talking eagle language. If not, you're going to just keep babbling like a pigeon and a chicken. So you need to get around those who hear from God, who's speaking the word of God, who can talk the eagle language. Amen. So make sure you become a part and come a part, become a part of what God is doing on the earth uh, through the SMI family and other ministries as well. Again, we're not the only ministry that moves in that type of glory, but there's very rare ministries you find in America that flows in, in, in that glory, that flows in that prophetic. I can count on this many hands, how many, I, I, I give it two hands of how many really apostolic and prophetic ministries that move in miracle signs, wonders, 
healings and the prophetic and deliverance all at the same time. There's not that many ministries that do that. Many people can teach on a prophetic, but they cannot operate in a prophetic. Many can teach and understand apostolic order, but don't even flow in apostolic order. So this is what we got to understand is that people... We need to get around those who really carry the glory, who really carry the all uh, of God's spirit. So you want to be a part of that. You want to make sure that you be around those who are really getting results. Amen. Hallelujah. In his presence. Exactly. Uh, you know, and the thing is, is even though some of us that know how to get into his presence, that don't mean we know how to manifest his presence. Oh, I'm going to say that again. Many of us know how to get in the presence. But exactly, SMI get results equals results. Many people can get in the presence, but not everybody can get something to manifest. Amen. So just having a, a presence alone is not enough. You gotta re, you gotta yield results. Amen. So you know we see money miracles. We see uh, people blind eyes opening, deaf ears opening, dead being raised, the prophetic flowing accurately. Amen. Uh, and I know I guess I guess I think I hope I know. No, this pure prophetic. So just because your church or your ministry may yield some results but there's not too many who move in a major manifestation so you need to come to these meetings so you can get imparted into and bring it back to your church so you can start flowing in the prophetic so you can start flowing in mighty miracles and healings so you can start flowing in signs and wonders amen so this is the reason why we have the one-on-one -on -one with the prophets we're not trying to take nobody church members we're not trying to uh, uh recruit any people we just want to impart to the body of christ because it's our job according to um uh, to the scriptures to equip the saints for the work of ministry amen sometimes your church don't have the equipment so you need to get around those who are equipped in those areas that can impart into you uh, and, and activate you in the spiritual realm. Amen. Paul said, do not neglect the gifts that have been prophesied to you by the laying on of the hands of the eldership. So that's certain giftings that you receive through laying on of the hands from the eldership, from those who are more seasoned in the faith than you are. Amen. So just because we all have the Holy Spirit, that don't mean that we all are on the same level. Amen. There's certain revelations and manifestations you won't see until a, a man or a great woman of God that flows in it, uh, uh, impart that into your life. Amen. What they paid the price for, you can learn in one second or five minutes or an hour by receiving impartation and revelation from them. So this is why we got to honor vessels and honor men of God. We don't play, we don't put the prophet over God. We don't put the apostle over God. However, these people have paid prices that you did not have to pay. You didn't have to fast for it. You didn't have to lose family members for it. You didn't have to pray long hours for it. You didn't have to lose jobs and family members and friends for it. And these people paid the price for you to learn something that they took them 20 years to learn. You can learn it in five minutes or you can learn it in five hours. Amen. So this is the reason why we must honor and bless the prophets and bless the apostles and come and be around those who have paid the price to get what we're trying to get. So if you want to become a prophet or you want to become an apostle or you want to become, how you doing, Miss Ed? How you doing? Blessings to you. Love you much. If you want to go to the next level or you want to excel in the spirit, you got to get around those who are already doing it. So you can excel. So yes, God is, God is your lover. And some people say, well, oh God. I just need God. I don't need nobody else. It's just only me and God. Well, if that's the case, why are you still stuck in the same situation you've been in since last year or five years ago or 10 years ago? Why your ministry hasn't taken off? Why haven't you excelled in the spirit? Why you're not on TV? Why, why, you're, why you're not raising the dead? Why you're not healing the sick? Amen. So you need to get around those who are connected so you can be affected so you can do the same thing. Amen. Because there's certain manifestations that you're not going to get unless I release it to you or another man of God release it to you who have paid the price for it. Amen. So you can't sit up and put yourself in this little box or this cave like, you do, uh, You know, I only need to deal with Father God. And a lot of people who try to hide themselves, usually are people who are church hurt or they're insecure, or they're afraid of man, or they're afraid of getting hurt. Amen. This is a people-based business. 
You know, when we do it in the kingdom work, it's still about people. Amen. You still got to connect to people. Even if you get the anointing from God sovereignly, you still got to go deal with people. Any business, whether it be ministry or secular, you still got to deal with people. You got to provide services for people. So whether it be ministry, whether it be business, whether it be marketplace ministry, whether it be healing crusades or prophetic crusades, it's still attached to people. You cannot receive nothing in this earth realm without receiving it from a person. Even if God himself bless you with an anointing, you still got to go give it to people. You still got to go pray for people. He, he, God never gives you something for selfish purpose or selfish reason. The Bible said that the gifts are to profit all. So if you receive a gift, it's for you to, for everybody to profit off it. It's for public consumption. It's for the purpose of public usage. Amen. So don't sit up here and thinking you the only prophet and the apostle and you don't need no mentor and you don't need no spiritual father or you don't need no nobody to instruct you. The devil is a lie. Even if you are a prophet, you still need a prophet in your life. Even or even if you're a major prophet, you still need a, somebody that's more higher than you in a spirit to impart into you. It's called a chain of command. Amen. So there's a ranking system in the body of Christ that we must adhere to. Amen. So if you don't understand this, people of God, you may go to heaven. Don't get me wrong. You're still going to heaven, but you just will never experience heaven on earth. Or you'll never fully fulfill your missions through the talents that God has placed in you because you don't have nobody to instruct you or teach you how to use it. Amen? Exactly. The prophets are subject to the prophets. The spirit of the prophet is subject to prophet. That word subject means to be submitted to. Amen? So you subject, you become a subject to another person. Amen? And if we don't understand that, you're not really called to the prophetic. You're really not called to the apostolic. You're really not called to that if you don't have somebody that you can connect to. You must you must connect in order to collect. If you don't if you don't get connected, you will be infected. You cannot be a long ranger out there. You cannot be a renegade. Even in the Bible, they had a company of prophets. And see, a lot of people don't understand. Do you thinking that, oh, we all can prophesy? We take that out of context, people of God. When he said that we all can prophesy, he was talking to the prophets. If you read the scripture when it said in 1 Corinthians 14, he said, let two or three prophets prophesy. Not two or three people. Not two or three people who think they have a gift or think they heard from God. He said, let two or three prophets prophesy. These were certified prophets who have been tried and, 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 and been tried and proven. He said, let two or three prophets prophesy, for we all can prophesy one by one. So the other may speak, so, the, uh, so, so we all may learn and, and we all may be comforted. But he was referring that to the prophets, not to people. So people of God, you cannot just go out there and just thinking because you think you had a prophetic dream. Even Nebuchadnezzar and evil kings had prophetic dreams. So just because you had a prophetic dream don't make you a prophet or a seer. Amen. So you need to get around those who really walk in the office of the prophet so they can train you in the things of the prophetic. There's no other way around it. God will not personally train you in none of these things. You still have to be subject to another person because God cannot break jurisdiction. And he still got to release something through the earth realm to man. Amen. So man has to always learn from man. Amen. So I don't care if you think you heard from God or you think you're a prophetic person or you think you this and that. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not the office. Of, exactly. So people got, guess what? Cause the office is where the work is. You don't go, to, you have to work to get into the office. You have to move up in ranks before you can get in the office of a prophet. You may move in the gifting of prophecy, but that comes as the spirit wills you. But when you walk in the office of the prophet, you move in the prophetic at all times. You constantly move in the prophetic. Even when you sneeze, it's prophetic. When you when you chew, it's prophetic. When you walk, it's prophetic. When you dream, it's prophetic. That's when you walk in the office of the prophet. That's when you're walking in the spirit of the prophet, not just a person that gave a gift. Now, to give a prophecy, it comes according to as the Holy Spirit unctions you. And that's if you're in a service or a setting and the spirit of prophecy is in the atmosphere and he can use a dog to prophesy. But that don't make you a prophet. So that happened to those who, who, who get the prophetic every blue moon or every now and then. Amen. But to walk in the office of the prophet, that means you do the work of the prophetic. You walk in the office of the prophetic. That means that you can even assign other people that anointing. 
Amen. So you don't have to be born a prophet to become a prophet, but you do need to be subject to a prophet to become a prophet. Amen. This is the reason why they had the school of the prophets. This is the reason why uh, Elijah uh, got with Elisha. He, the student never was called a prophet until he got with Elijah after he received the mantle. Amen. He wasn't called a prophet Elisha or Elisha until after he received the mantle from the prophet. Amen. Amos, Amos said, I was not a, born a prophet nor a son of a prophet. But then later on, he became a prophet as he connected with the prophets, as God gave him his assignment. Amen. So you still have to understand that there's a way that God uh, wants to usher you into the prophetic. Amen. So you need to get around other seasoned veterans in the as eagles. Know your tribe. Know who you connected to so you can grow in the things of the spirit. Guess what? Yes, the Holy Spirit teaches us all things. You don't need man to teach you nothing in that area. Holy Spirit teaches you all things. But guess what? The fivefold equips you in all things. So you may be taught in a lot of things, but that don't mean that you have the equipment to do it. Amen. How many of y'all have the Holy Ghost but never heard God's voice? How many of y'all have the Holy Ghost but never moved in healing? How many of y'all have the Holy Ghost but never raised the dead before? So just because you have an anointing of the Holy Ghost, that don't mean that you're going to have the unction to function. Amen. This is the reason why we need the fivefold ministry to equip us for the what? Work of ministry. The work of ministry. The work of of ministry. So just because you have an anointing, that don't mean that you know how to work it. Oh my God, I'm preaching better than y'all shouting. Just because you have an anointing, that don't mean you know how to work it. Amen. You must ask, seek, and knock. So when we when we knock, when we knock, that means somebody's on the other side with the key to open it up for us because we don't have the key. So every time you act, seek, and knock, when you begin to knock, it means somebody's on the other side of the door to open it for you because you don't have the keys to that kingdom. You don't have the keys to that door. So even if you try to go do it on your own, you, you, you may get, yield some results, but you're not going to get the fullness revelation of the manifestation until you connect with somebody who's already a seasoned veteran in it. Amen. There's certain impartations you're going to have to receive from another man of God. So I don't care if you've been raped by men of God. I don't care if you've been hurt by men of God. I don't care if you church hurt. I don't care if your pastor tried to sleep with you and you did that. That does not excuse your rebellion. That does not excuse. And again, I'm not, I'm, please, I'm not being not sympathetic to those who've been church hurt. Uh, uh, I, I sympathize to those who've been church hurt, but that does not excuse your rebellion. That does not excuse you forsaking a gathering of the brethren. That does not excuse you trying to be Captain Caveman and being a cave and weird and stuff like that and thinking, oh, I only listen to God and not listen to man. You're in the wrong business because you still gonna have to deal with man. You still gonna have to connect with man because this is a man based business. This is a man based business. It's spiritual, but it's still connected to man. You still got to go win souls, which is man. You still got to go pray for people, which is man. You still got to get extra anointing you as a man to receive something. So you still got to connect to man. There's no other way around it. Even if you don't like man, whether well, you've been hurt by man, oh, I don't trust these preachers. Don't trust the preachers. See, the problem is most of us, we try to get to know people in the flesh instead of the spirit. The Bible said, no, no man after the flesh, but after the spirit. So you don't got to like his fleshly ways. You just learn the spiritual side of that man. That's the only part you need to, uh, to receive from the man. Even if a man is flawed, I can receive certain things from him. I eat the fish and spit out the bones. Amen. So there's certain giftings that you can receive from men and women of God. Uh, you just got to imitate something about prophets, especially prophets. They're, they're not like a pastor. They're, you're not going to get yield the same results as a pastor. Pastors are there to pacify. They're there to pacify you. So they're going to have a different uh, fruit. Uh, than the prophet. The prophet is not that gentle. Our apostle is not that gentle. Uh, they, they, they're, they're gentle for us in the sense of the things of the spirit, but they yield 
they, they take God's word seriously. Their attitudes are different because they're very bold and abrupt and they're very straightforward. At least uh, the prophets that I know and if the prophets that you read in the Bible, uh, the dispensation has changed, but the attitudes haven't changed. The be attitudes of the prophets haven't changed. They carry the same charismatic charisma that they did in the Old Testament. So if you have real ranking prophets higher in school and many schools. Amen. You have many prophets out here that's walking around here thinking only comfort ex uh, comfort and exalt is prophecy. But that's not the attitude of the prophet. Prophecy is to con is to comfort and, 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 and exalt you and things of that nature. But that don't mean that's the attribute of the prophet. Because see, you can receive a prophecy and the prophecy is supposed to be different than what the prophet himself is. Amen. So you can't sit up here because a prophet gives the word very, uh, uh, his deliverance may not be what you want, the way he delivered the message, but it's still supposed to be some form of con um, uh, um, conviction behind the prophecy, but there also should be some type of comfort behind the prophecy as well. Amen. It's not going to always be a doom and gloom word, but it's not going to always be a peachy cream word that's going to bring you comfort because the Jeremiah uh, prophet uh, 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 attribute was, you know, first you got to come to pull down, uh, to destroy, uh, uh, root out, pull out, destroy, plant, then build. That is the Jeremiah's uh, 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 um um, sign of a born prophet from the mother womb. Amen. So when you have prophets that have that type of attitude, uh, you know that they are genuine prophet, a uh, Old Testament type prophet. Amen. Even in a New Testament, they, a lot of people keep talking about New Testament. There's no such thing as New Testament. Uh, there's a new covenant that was made, but there's no New Testament. The Testament remains the same. The Bible was uh, the book of Moses, the books of Moses and the prophets. Uh, this was the only Bible adorned and existed during Jesus' time. Now we have the gospels and the epistles uh, of Paul and things of that nature, but these were letters to the churches to, re uh, to refer to the gospels and also to refer to uh, 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 the Torah. Amen. So we got to understand is that the prophets of the, of the Old Testament don't change even in the New Testament. Because even as we see the apostles like uh, Paul and things of that nature and Agab you know, and prophets like Agabus and things of that nature, they still had the same attributes of the Old Testament prophets. You know, Peter uh, cursed Ananias and Sapphira. Amen. They dropped dead. That sounds like an Old Testament type prophet to me. Uh, Paul cursed a man and he was blind. Amen. That sounds like Old Testament prophets to me. So even if if we still uh, uh, we we reading the scriptures wrong when Paul referred things to the Corinthians church. He's saying this is what prophecy should make you feel like. However, that does not take away from the way the prophet. Uh, will give you a harsh word sometime, amen, and sometimes it's for the correction, amen. The Bible says, "Be ready in season, out of season." The first to rebuke, reproof. And then exalt, amen. Exaltation don't come to after reproofing and rebuking. Correction, amen. So if you have a word that's always exalting, 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 and no reproofing or no rebuking or correction, then that's not a true prophetic word from God, amen. So it still must line up to all the other parts of the scriptures. It must also line up to the Jeremiah characteristic of the prophets. All the prophets that you study in the Bible, they came with a strong word. They came with words of correction. So if you have a prophetic word without a, a without a prophetic instruction or correction, then you got a half a word or you didn't get the fullness of that word. Amen. So it's not going to always just be about you exalt, exalting, exalting, exalting all the time, uh, or, or comfort, comfort, comfort all the time, because even there's correction and comfort. Hallelujah. Even correction can be comfortable if you know it's the God honest truth and you stand for truth and righteousness, you will accept that word. Amen. So people of God, we got to know what prophecy really looks like. So I want you to come to the one-on-one -on -one with the prophets, May 5th through 7th with Prophet Valerie Moore, myself, Prophet Torah, and we got some other prophets in the building, and it's a free event, a free event. So you don't have to pay for this. It's a free event. Please come out, 6300 West Park Drive, Houston, Texas, zip code 77057, suit 310. Make sure you come, bring your friends, bring your family. Uh, uh, 
it's going to be powerful. You will not want to miss this. We're going to train you in the prophetic. We're going to teach you how the prophetic looks like. And we're going to impart to you. And you're going to begin to prophesy. Last time we was at the Supernatural Sisters. And I imparted to people to receive the prophetic anointing. And they begin to get words of knowledge and prophesying. Amen. To people accurately. Amen. So the, the anointing is transferable. The anointing is very uh, uh, transferable. But you must, if you believe my prophets, you shall prosper. Amen. So make sure you, you send us to all all your people again may 5th through 7 where it's not too long from now uh, uh uh in may 5th through 7 prophet is valerie moore make sure you come out also we have prophet passion java coming out in july and prophet shay hall in august amen so we're gonna you know stay tuned for these upcoming events but i want you to share this share this with your friends share this with your family invite people to come out to this meeting may the 5th through the 7th with prophet valerie moore she's a very accurate prophetess Again, me and Bob is tour. Uh, and, and, and also Prophetess Valerie Moore is going to be imparting to people. We're going to be equipping people. And we're going to activate people in the prophetic. Amen. So come to this meeting so you can go back to your church and impart into your people and be able to begin to flow in the prophetic and see miracles, signs, wonders, and healing. Not just the verbal side of the prophetic, but your life will be a walking testament of the prophetic anointing. Amen. You'll begin to, when you speak things, it will happen instantly. You'll see instant manifestations. You'll begin to see things uh, move in a powerful way. You'll take the future and bring it into the right now. Amen. So all that comes with the prophetic office of the prophet. Amen. He can change a, a, a situation from one situation to another. So make sure you come around these season vets, these season prophets that move in the prophetic. Amen. I can't stress this enough. I don't care if you got to take a plane, take a train, take a bus, or uh, drive, whatever you got to do, take the mega bus, whatever you got to do, make sure you make these meetings. Amen. So I'm going to post the flyers down here shortly, and I want you to come out to the one-on-one -on -one with the prophets. Make sure you come. Amen. We're going to be teaching on prophetic. We're going to impart. We're going to give you revelation. You're going to see manifestations. Amen. And come and get a word from God, an accurate word from God. Amen. Hallelujah. That will change your life. We got testimonies after testimonies. Of people after they left the meetings, uh, all supernatural things begin to happen in their lives. They begin to start their own ministries, businesses begin to flourish, and also they begin to move in the prophetic and also deliverance and healing and, and other gifts of the spirit as well. Amen. So make sure you come out again. I can't stress this enough. This is my video. I'm 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 doing for the meeting. Make sure you come out May 5th through 7th with Providence Valerie Moore. It's going to be awesome. It's a free event. The only event you got to register for is the July event with uh, Prophet Passion, which is $25. Just $25, people. $25 for general admission. And if you want VIP seating, you don't have to get VIP seating. But if you want VIP seating and also private session on Saturday with him, it's just only $100 for singles and $175 for married couples. That's it. You don't have to pay it. You don't have to pay the uh, registration of uh, uh, the pro uh, for the private session, and you don't have to pay for VIP section. Everybody's still gonna receive a word because it's not only gonna be Prophet Passion in the building, but myself and my other brothers and the other Passionites and Gothamites will be in the building as well, prophesying over the people. Amen. So you get like about six, seven prophets. Uh, to come out. So, I mean, if you haven't been in none of these meetings, ask around and people will tell you the meetings are off the chain. Nothing like it in Houston. Nothing like it, be honest with you, in the United States. I mean, talking about prophetic wise, uh, it's just, there's nothing to like it. Amen. Not to say that other ministries don't move in the anointing or don't move in the glory, but nothing like a SMI, uh, meeting. I'm just being honest with you. I mean, resurrections, uh, healings, lumps, tumors dissolving, money appearing in people's bank accounts, pockets, wallets, uh, purses, uh, Bibles, you know, uh, deliverance, people getting healed and delivered from drug addictions and family restorations happening instantly. You, I mean, where do you see that happening? You know, um, you know, real notable healings, you know, so people got, I don't know what else to say. All I can say is if you miss out, I mean, you miss out, but I wouldn't miss this meeting for the world. May 5th through 7th, Houston, Texas with Providence Valerie Moore. Again, we're going to be doing some other uh, prophetic meetings also in Houston and other places as well. But these are the major meetings that's coming in Houston. So make sure you come out. I love y'all. I bless y'all. 
Please share this video. Make sure you come out. Don't, whether you like me or not, whether you like our ministry or not, come out for the sake of your children. Come out for the sake of your family that need a word from God. Come out for those who really need a healing. Bring the sick, bring the lame, bring the dead, bring the bring whoever who needs a, a deliverance or need healing. Bring them, even if you don't like me. There are other prophets that will be there. There's other people, but I know you love me. You just you just don't understand certain things. But we love you. Come out, be a part of the movement. This is a true move of God. This is a true movement of God. This is not uh, this is not uh, something that's made up or, 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 or over exaggerated. This is a true move of the Spirit. For those for the last couple of meetings that we had the Supernatural Sisters Conference, also the one in Hereford, they will tell you and they will testify of the glory of God uh, that sparked in those meetings. Amen. And how even the youth were weeping and wailing before the Lord. Change, general change from people. Amen. So make sure you come out to the meetings. I love y'all. I bless y'all. This is your general apostle, Prophet Sean Morris. I love y'all. I will see y'all May 5th through 7th with Valerie Moore. Don't miss the meeting. You will be a fool if you miss this meeting. Please come out. Bring your friends. It's a free meeting. A free meeting. Amen. Yes, come in July. We have the hotel race as well, woman of God already done it's already here we have the hotel race for the july meeting only 79 dollars a night 79 dollars a night that's all you have to pay for the july meeting if you're coming from out of town or you want to make the profit valerie more one 79 dollars amen that's all you got to pay amen for hotel hallelujah amen but we bless y'all we love y'all i'll talk to y'all soon